Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I have a bit of a tutorial and a review for you. And we're gonna paint this rainbow rose on a mini canvas. I'm using a four inch by four inch mini canvas, little stretched canvas from Arteza. It comes with a little easel and you can get them on Amazon in a bulk pack. Or if you have a Dollar Tree nearby or an Ocean State job lot, they often have these in singles or in like three packs. So if you don't need a big pack, you can check there. I think a lot of craft stores sell these as well. They're usually near the checkout because they're kind of an impulse. Um, product, but they are so fun to just do little paintings or to like make Christmas ornaments or seasonal decorations. So they're a lot of fun. I highly recommend them. And I also recommend these paint pens. I've been using them for a couple of months. And um, when I first got them, I was very impressed with how quickly they started. Cause you know, with an acrylic paint pen, you get the pen, you've got to uncap it, pump it to get the ink flowing. And a lot of times it takes a lot of pumps and you know, you gotta keep scribbling, get the ink to flow. The ink flowed really well, very quickly on these pens um, but then sometimes when you're using these paint pens they tend to dry out or they tend to skip after you've been using for a while or if you don't use them for a couple of weeks they tend to skip and drag I did not have that issue at all with these paint pens and they are a budget paint pen so that's why I'm kind of excited about reviewing them today because uh, you know Posca pens are my favorite but they are pricey you're gonna spend you know a few dollars per pen these are under a dollar a pen I think they come in a pack of 20 it's either 20 or 24 they're on Amazon they're under twenty dollars and they just um, they just perform so well the colors are nice and saturated and vibrant and um, they're not aggravating at all and that's one thing I can't stand when I'm trying to create art is to be aggravated so let's talk about the drawing a little bit. I'm starting in the center of the canvas and starting with those center petals. I have a reference photo I will link up. It's from Unsplash and it's just like a bouquet of rainbow roses. So you could look at whatever rose you like the best. Um, I went with that one with a yellow, little tiny curl of a yellow petal in the center because I thought it was a little bit easier to find my bearings with that one. But you're basically just stacking petals around. And as I got to the outside of the flower, I did have to kind of make up petals because the way the reference photo had a bunch of roses all uh, kind of packed in together, I couldn't really, there weren't any like really big outer petals or any flowers with the big outer petals that I could go by. Now you can see that the colors blend really well together. I would go and put a little bit of black actually, and then go in with a darker color that I had been blending and just kind of drag that color around. Now, when you do that, uh, just scribble your paint pen on a scrap of paper. If you've like kind of used it to blend out black, that way you shouldn't have um, any contamination on the nib. It should scribble right off. And these are a three millimeter nib so they're not like ultra fine my my extra fine markers um, I have the Posca paint pens for those and I highly recommend that if you can get a small set of those for your fine fine details um, I didn't use them in this piece I just used the parkour ones but um, I would definitely say spend the extra money for Posca's on the ultra fine pens but for these three millimeter ones definitely go with Parku because you know for the cost of a couple pens you're going to get a whole pack and they just perform so nicely no scratchiness no skipping ink I was so impressed um, and I've used them on quite a few projects. I didn't want to do a review until I had used them and I could say whether or not they're going to dry out on you if you don't use them for a couple of weeks. I can tell you they do not. They uh, they really, I think, are the best budget acrylic paint pens I've used and I've used quite a few of them and many of them I don't even bother reviewing because it's like, uh, I don't even, I don't even want to encourage anyone, you know, on some pens, but these I'm very pleased to, uh, to review and share with you. I do want to let you know that Parku did send me these back when I reviewed their alcohol markers they also sent me these acrylic paint pens um, so I that's that's why I had them I just want to be completely honest so you know that um, I was not paid to do this review but I did receive the pens for free um, but I will definitely purchase these when they run out because I just find them to be a really good deal and you know what I honestly think that you could unscrew them backwards and refill them with your acrylic inks if you wanted to um, I love it when products are like that because then you're not completely in a bind if you run out of ink in the middle of a project you can just make some with your acrylic paint or your acrylic inks and refill it if you have those of course if you don't have those products that really doesn't help you but um but yeah, uh, and you can see you can blend with a brush if you want to. I found that to be kind of helpful on those larger petals. I typically don't use a paint pens for large areas like that, but they didn't like they kept up with coloring that much, which I thought was uh, was really good there. The brushes that I've been using to blend here and there are the Zen All Media brushes by Royal and Langnickel. I like those an awful lot. They are golden tacklon synthetic brushes and they just work really well with gouache 
or acrylic paint, anything like that, where you just want a little extra stiffness to your brush, but you still want a smooth application. Uh, you can find those in most big box craft stores as well. So they're not crazy expensive. I think they're around four or five dollars a piece, regular price. So you really can't beat it. And they come in um, packs as well. So here I am using the black um, pen from that Park U set to outline everything. You could go in with a finer tip pen and another like a Posca extra fine if you wanted to, but I wanted to do everything with these pens and see how they worked out. And then I just added some white highlights with the white pen. And there you have it. I think it turned out really cute and um, it's so bright and cheerful sitting on my desk. I really enjoy painting it and I enjoy how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up before you go. I'll have links to everything in the video description. Until next time, happy crafting.